Ever wondered how some freelancers skyrocket their careers while others struggle to get started? The secret lies in mastering skills that not too many people know and clients want, supply and demand. In this video, I'll reveal the top five no-code skills that clients are begging for in 2024. Hi, I'm Adam, a no-code agency founder, certified bubble developer, and AI enthusiast. I've helped countless clients around the globe streamline their businesses with no-code tools, and today I'm gonna to share with you the top five that you should learn to jumpstart your freelancing career. I can tell you personally that there's a serious shortage in skilled freelancers in these areas and a serious influx in opportunities. To kick off our list, I'm gonna get started with Bubble. Now, Bubble's our bread and butter at APG Software Solutions, and we build almost all of our apps on this framework. It's a no-code framework and allows you to build all sorts of complex applications from internal tools to CRMs, dashboards, and even generative AI applications. Bubble can really handle it all. The power of Bubble is that you can build and iterate on apps 10 times faster than you could using a lot of these traditional methods. This all happens in a no-code visual interface that's a lot easier to learn. As a certified Bubble developer myself, I'd say the learning curve to become an intermediate developer can be achieved in as little as two weeks if you watch the right content and really apply yourself to the learning materials. This level will allow you to build a lot of the common application types that clients are looking for. An expert level developer usually is handed over about five to 10 projects and has at least a year experience in the bubble editor. Next up, we have make.com, formerly known as Integramat. Make.com is a really powerful automation tool that allows you to connect a lot of the separate tools that these SME companies have in their tech stacks. At APG Software Solutions, we use Make.com a lot to work with the big plug and play tools that the SME clients that approach us usually use. Some of these tools include all your big CRMs like Monday.com, Pipedrive and Salesforce, and they want these to interact with a lot of other things like their email services or social media platforms Obviously, it's company specific. These big plug and play services and CRMs often have limitations, and that's where make.com comes in to allow you to connect all these different tools and maybe serve some niche functionality that the big tools just don't accommodate for. This is a really sought after skill because if done correctly, not only does the client save money because their painful processes have now just been automated, but you also make money from completing the job. So it's a win-win scenario for both parties. Some of the challenges of this skill though, is if you're not someone who's worked with business processes before, it can sometimes be difficult to understand how all these different tools work and how to mix them together. So it's really important you do your own passion projects and do some research to really develop your skills in this prior to just jumping out there in the freelancing market. The good news is, if you understand business processes and you know what you're doing with these tools, it's a pretty rare skill and I know it pays very well on Upwork. Clients need automation to save time and essentially save their businesses money. Now it's worth mentioning, when I first started freelancing, I actually tried to do make.com first before I came onto Bubble. Because I'd never worked in tech or in business processes at all really, I found it pretty challenging to understand how these businesses connect together and the tech tools. I'd never really worked with CRMs or anything like that before. So for me personally, Bubble.io was easier to pick up, but if you're someone that's maybe worked in management, you've ran some companies before, you might find make.com easier than Bubble to pick up. Now our third skill is Figma, and honestly, this is one of my favorite tools to work with. If you're a creative person or someone that loves designing things, I think Figma will be a really good skill for you. It's a creative application that's really essential for creating prototypes and user interfaces. At APG Software Solutions, we use Figma to prototype all of our apps before we actually develop them. We also use it for mapping out user flows and creating all sorts of FigJam charts. So not only is it good for designing applications, but FigJam is a really powerful tool in itself. Having engaged with many designers myself, I know the value in someone that can not only understand basic design principles, but also understand user flows and how applications work is invaluable. It's a really sticky job, and I know I've hired some really good designers in the past, and I'm constantly going back to them for more work. Clients really value the ability to see and interact with Figma designs before engaging in any web development project. Mastering Figma is going to make you an invaluable asset to any design team. Now, number four is Flowwise AI. I personally think this one's a little bit underground, and a lot of clients actually require it, but they don't even know they need it. It's a no-code tool that allows you to string chains of events in the AI space on top of a framework called Langchain. 
As an agency, we've used it many times when we need to get some AI functionality that's a little bit deeper than just an assistant with GPT-4 or one large language model. You can use it for chaining AI actions. It has this really easy chat feature that makes it super quick to iterate and really develop an effective and reliable AI process. You can see where this could be useful maybe for a chatbot or maybe even for recommendation systems. You can do all sorts of things like make sure the AI returns a fixed format when it's returning a response. You can also do things like pull data from CSVs, manipulate it in certain ways, send it back and forth between different large language models, and then return a response. And it's all completely accessible via their API. AI really is the buzzword of 2024, and it doesn't really look like it's going anywhere. If you understand FlowWise, I know there's a lot of chatbot development jobs and even integrations with front ends and tools like Bubble to really build recommendation systems and all sorts of AI features. FlowWise AI is a bit of an underground skill that I think a lot of clients really require. Now, last but not least, we have Zapier. Zapier is a really well-known tool and honestly, it's very similar to Make.com. As an agency, we use Make.com a lot more than Zapier because we found it much more cost effective in certain scenarios. But there are definitely pros to using Zapier. It integrates with thousands of services and is a lot more well known with clients. Similar to Make.com, Zapier allows you to create automations using Zaps, which essentially make your business tech tools talk to each other. These skills have been game changers for our agency and our clients. Our agency primarily uses make.com and bubble to deliver no code solutions for our clients sometimes in as little as a few days we've completed over 250 projects in the last four years and personally i've seen a lot of growth just in this year alone i really think we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg in this no code ai space and i definitely don't think it's too late to jump on board if you're ready to transform your freelance career with these no code skills I think there really is no better time than now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all things no code, AI, and freelancing. Remember, the key to success in freelancing is not only working hard, but also working smart. Leveraging these in-demand no code skills is what's gonna allow you to stand out in a pretty competitive marketplace and really put a jet burner under your freelancing career in 2024. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.